All right, I want to bring you up to speed on another topic, which is isk making uh, under Iron Man rules. Uh, as I progress uh, onto more uh, advanced content, the simple belt writing in Tech One Catalyst is no longer enough. So, one of my goals was to figure out a better way to earn ISK and I want to talk about uh, the ways you can make ISK uh, under Ironman rules that is without using markets at all so as far as I know there are only five ways to get uh, liquid ISK the first one the most straightforward is uh, just bounties for killing uh, NPCs, either by doing missions, or by doing belt writing, or by doing combat anomalies, doesn't really matter, the main ISK source will be bounties anyway. The second one is uh, DED sites, and specifically DED boxes, or overseer effects. These uh, things are the guaranteed drop from the DED uh, combat sites and you can sell them to NPCs in the market. For example, this one uh, sells for 6.3 million to NPC orders, as you can see. Um, I have been doing a fair bit of uh, DED uh, sites that I scan in uh, NullSec, as you can see, like 54 million total in uh, this Navi Vexor. Uh, this Navi Vexor can uh, reasonably comfortably do uh, level 4, DD level 4. With level 5, it will struggle a lot and it will take like an hour probably to complete. Um, I have been doing uh, these sites both in um, Placid and in the low sec to low sec uh, wormholes uh, that I find. In one of the uh, wormholes I found um, a route to pretty quiet uh, blood riders uh, null sec and I found uh, four, four level DVD site which dropped um, C-type armor wrap and C-type uh, uh, multispec membrane. Both of these uh, will be used on this Vexor. I cannot uh, sell them, of course, so these are kind of, in terms of ISK making, are meaningless. But uh, I can use uh, these high-end modules either on writing ships or on my PvP ships. Uh, for PvP, of course, it's more desirable to do uh, DEDs from level 1 to level 3, which drop um, frigate level uh, dead space loot for uh, level 4s up to level 6s. So these drop uh, cruiser sized uh, modules, and uh, these are more useful for collecting these boxes. Because uh, boxes uh, in high level sites will be more expensive. Uh, the third source of income is uh, wormhole blue loot, which you can also sell uh, directly to NPCs. I haven't tried uh, wormhole content, and I think uh, this Vexor will be able to do maybe C2 wormholes at best, I don't think C3 is doable. And uh, in C2, I guess it's a decent source of income for now, but I haven't really tried it. Considering the risk and reward, I think uh, just by doing DD sites I can make uh, a bit more. Uh, especially considering that replacing this uh, Navy Vexor will be extremely tedious. Basically, I will need to farm another uh, Galente Beta chip to be able to trade it for Navi Vexor here. Uh, yeah, you can see what it takes Galente Beta Nexus chip. 
the fourth source of income is uh, the clone soldier tax the clone soldier tax uh, acquired from the clone soldiers and uh, the most um, expensive tax uh, dropped from the clone soldiers would spawn in uh, uh, point 0.1 and point 0.2 security low sec so I'm currently in point 0.4 security low sec uh, but uh, there are several systems nearby with point 0.1 and point 0.2 uh, and uh, these uh, clone soldiers spawn in asteroid belts typically I haven't tried uh, this content yet, I think it's uh, doable and uh, one tag costs about 20 million if I remember correctly so it can be a good alternative as well but I haven't tried it yet it's doable I think even in the catalyst and uh, the fifth uh, source of income is uh, pretty obscure it's stuff like uh, covered research tools that are dropped uh, in uh, the ghost sites and in the besieged um, uh, covered research or whatever it's called sites in NullSec the besieged sites I can't really do I think even in the a perfectly skilled Navi Vexor they will be very challenging simply because of lack of DPS and they will target drones uh, pretty heavily as well and uh, in my like really poorly skilled Navi Vexor it's certainly not doable and ghost sites I occasionally do when I stumble upon them um, I can't do them entirely of course I can only cherry pick uh, two cans and um, not always I succeed in hacking these guns again because of just poor skills and poor uh, modules that I have to use on this character but uh, occasionally I get um, these modules and I can uh, sell them to NPCs as well yeah, so these are the five uh, sources of uh, income uh, that I will try at some point. For now I only uh, rely on bounties and uh, DED boxes and very little on covered research tools. So I still have to explore Wormhole Blue Loot and uh, Clone Soldier Tax. We will see how it goes. Um, and when I will try these um, uh, sources of potential income, I will let you know my opinion on them. Until then, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.